what I'm trying to explore with the Sound of Stories is this whole idea of could we use generative AI for a grandparent to narrate stories for their yet to be delivered grandchildren, even after they've passed on in multiple languages. So this is the whole idea of extending that companionship and presence, hopefully in a non-creepy way. Yeah. Also, so the whole idea is, uh, yeah, uh, we make use of memory as well as uh, this. Yeah, we are really making use of the memory feature of this uh, chains to to, to, to to tell you a story that's tailored to you, right? And just leaving aside how awkward the interface is at the moment. Um, Again, it's really this whole idea of creating a story that is unique to you. And I think subsequently you can play it around with some of these parameters or use better data sets, better prompting techniques in order to make the stories even more interesting. So both generations are finally completed and let's have a play through. Once upon a time in a vibrant city of Singapore, there lived a curious young boy. He loved exploring the world around him and had a deep fascinated with philosophical ideas. Once strolling through a local art painting, he couldn't help with a wise old turtle. 曾经在充满活境的新嘎有个名叫Breitochi的好奇的小男孩,他喜欢周围的世界,对哲学历年正深深的迷利,有一天在当地的艺术化龙里散步时候,他偶然发现了 so again, as I said, it's not the best in the world, so I'm actually kind of disappointed with the performance of Meta's uh, multi-language, multi-multi-multi-whatever model AI. Uh, but the problems of text-to-speech generation and text-to-text translation for English and Mandarin, I think are pretty well solved, and I found some good uh, libraries that I'm, implement, that I'm planning to implement next. It's the other languages that I think I'll probably need to work more on, and of course, uh, training this whole thing together to make use of a voice clone.